Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video with Stylus Mustache here and today I'm gonna show you guys the low life frost build. So basically this build is 100% focused in DPS and with the perks of this build right here you will get the highest damage possible for any low life frost build. So without further talking let's jump straight into the build. So for the weapon we actually have two different choices. The first one is Turmoil of Borels, which comes with a 3 conditioning and its unique effect is after each charge attack level it generates a frost sprite that grants your next attack plus 50 damage and minor frost damage with a maximum of 4 sprites, which can actually increase a little bit your damage per second. And for the mods we're using Grimmon Sloth and Overcharged Cylinder, which are the two best mods in terms of DPS for the X. And for the cells we're using plus 3 Overpower and plus 3 Iceborne. Now for the second weapon of choice, we're using the Brutality of Borels, which comes with plus 3 conditioning as well and the same unique effect. Now for the mods, we're using the Mighty Land Breaker and the Extended Clip, which are the two best mods in terms of DPS for the hammer. And for the cells, we're using basically the same cells as the other weapon, which are plus 3 Overpower and plus 3 Iceborne. Now for the helmet, we're using the Dress Scale Helmet, which comes with plus 3 Aetheric Attainment, and for the cell, we're using plus 3 Overpower. Now for the chest piece we use the Dark Marrow which comes with plus 3 Rage and for the cell we are using plus 3 Rage as well. Now for the gloves we use the Light Refuge which comes with plus 3 Conduit and for the cell we are using plus 3 Wild Frenzy. And for the legs we use the Boreal March which comes with plus 3 Iceborne and for the cell we are using plus 3 Wild Frenzy as well. And last but not least for the lantern we use the Dress Xai which is actually the best lantern in the game right now and it has an instant effect that increases our damage by 30% for 6 seconds. And for the cell we are using plus 3 Conduit. So now let's move into the perk summary. So here we have plus 6 conduit that increases your attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds right after using the lantern hold ability. Plus 6 iceborne that gives us plus 30% decrease in damage taken and 8% life steal that cannot heal beyond 50% health when under 50% health. Plus 6 overpower that increases our damage by 70% versus the second behemoths. Plus 6 rage that increases our damage by 25% when under 50% health. Plus 6 Wild Frenzy that increases our attack speed by 25% when under 50% health. Plus 3 Aetheric Attainment which gives us plus 20% Lantern Charge from attacks. And plus 3 Conditioning that gives us plus 15 Stamina Regeneration. So that's pretty much it for the build guys. Now if you're going to fight against a Fire Behemoth, I highly suggest you exchange the Wild Frenzy uh, cells for Molten cells. In this case you're going to be losing 5% attack speed, but you're going to be gaining uh, immunity to fire and an additional 20% movement speed if I'm not wrong. So that's pretty much it for the build guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration against some heroic behemoths so you can see how powerful this build is in an actual fight. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out!
So that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more dauntless videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!